reels. What's going on? <laughs> uh, man, listen. It is Saturday. I sound slightly groggy here, but um, you know. 1034. I've been up for a little bit. Actually ready for a nap already. But anyway. <laughs> so it's Saturday. Y'all know what happens on Saturdays, man. Um some joints come out some heat comes out today and uh, I need to go ahead and make a little pickup um, of course with it also being Saturday there's some adult pickups as well you know got to be an adult throughout the day as well listen shout out to my folks that are from Chicago that's from Bronzeville I'm actually in the Bronzeville area right now you feel me so you can see this you know you know exactly where I'm at you know exactly where I'm at. I had to go ahead and um, you know, grab me a little hair wash real quick. Cause um, yeah. So, work out five, six times a week. You know what I'm saying. So, obviously, that can be a strain on any woman's hair or anybody's hair, just in general. But for women, obviously, it's more labor uh, intensive for us to stay looking decent. And so, if you're somebody that works out a lot. I mean, it's even more work. So a lot of women opt to not work out at all, so they don't have to deal with the extra work that it comes that comes with being presentable um, in this world. You feel me? So, but um, let me get out of here and uh, let's let's make these stops. I also, well, we'll get to the we'll get to the first stop first. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick up um, or try to pick up the joint that I'm I'm looking for. My name should be at the spit out my name should be on this shoe at the spit out so um y'all see what i'm picking up shortly all right peace okay easily found me a little parking spot and this is why i'm going here now versus an hour from now you know after making a couple other stops so just in case this is part of our this part of the city you know starts picking up about this time so that's big city life, big city life. Um, man, I am tired. <laughs> but anyway, before I go in here, man, did y'all watch that uh, that UConn-Iowa game last night? Ooh, ooh. I already knew that, um, and I'm only going straight to that game because I already knew that NC State couldn't handle South Carolina. Like, I, I knew what that was about. It was cool to to, to kind of get to know the players from um, North Carolina State. You know, being a, a, a Michigan fan, um, and it listen, I have nothing really to cheer for in terms of college basketball. The men's uh, team sucked. The girls' team was actually pretty solid, um, but of course they didn't make it past the second round. And so, you know, I. Um, I was a free agent in terms of my attention. So up until the point where I know my teams are trash, I don't really get an opportunity. That's the punchline. I don't really get an opportunity to really venture out and see some of the other teams. Like I knew a LSU, I knew a Iowa, I knew a South Carolina, you know, a little bit of North Carolina, um, a little bit of Notre Dame, you know what I'm saying? But teams like North Carolina State, like I wasn't um I wasn't as privy to them so it was cool to see cool to see them make it as far as they did um but yeah man um going back to the the Yukon Iowa uh game uh yeah that was that was Yukon's game for the take in they played the appropriate defense to slow down Kaitlyn Clark um they forced the others to have to perform, which I mean, Stokely's always a reliable um, contributor, Gabby Marshall, Kate Martin, and so on. And so um, those girls still did their thing. Kate Martin kind of came in toward the end um, and, and kind of uh, made up and offset some of what Caitlin Clark couldn't do. But I do feel like UConn very much had that game to win. Um, it was close the entire game, even with Caitlin Clark not having a strong game. But I feel like UConn being a not a deep team like like all of their most of their players were injured for the year like all of the odds were stacked against them at the end of the day they still UConn they still got Gino who's been coaching for 30 years and who has seen everything every type of offense every type of defense system scheme and so forth so um I always say this 
the the odds are always going to be stacked in UConn's favor just off of that just off of having Gino right um but yeah everybody that controversial call at the end you know it, it definitely changed the scheme for the last 30 minutes or so of that game that 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 game would have been decided by those players and their ability to execute I think UConn could have drew up a really or probably had drawn up a nice effective high percentage shot they didn't need a three right away so they could have had a couple of opportunities to just get two points and go up 71 to 70 right and possibly take the game um but that didn't happen because of that call so anyway i'm looking forward to sunday and um listen i think the path is set for south carolina i i really do Obviously, they're beatable. Both teams are beatable, but an undefeated season to me, you deserve to win it all. You know what I'm saying? And I know that they've had that that trend the last couple of years, but um, I just think that with everything that is going on with LSU going out the way that they did, um, UConn going out the way that they did. I don't like to say that sports are rigged. I never like to admit something is rigged. I do not. I feel like Iowa made it on their own merit. Okay, let me start with that. But I'm going with South Carolina and I feel like they deserve to win. And I'm hoping that nothing sketchy happens during this game that sways it in the other direction if Iowa wins and they win fair and square fine cool that would be a fantastic story for Caitlin's last season right but all roles lead to South Carolina winning just off the dominance of most of the games that they played throughout the year so but let me get inside grab my pickup and uh we can come back here and chit, chit chat it up when I'm done all right <laughs> peace <laughs> Oh, real quick, heat check, heat check. Air Force 180, you know what I'm saying? Black and blue, you know how we do. You know how we do with one of my favorite pair of socks, sneaker enthusiasts. Sneaker enthusiasts, courtesy of my family um, that used to be at the padded room. The padded room used to be one of the, um, one of the sneaker shops in the city. They uh they shut down. I want to say like, ugh, these years go by quick. I want to say it's been about three years or so now since they officially closed. That used to be um, deep south side, and then they came over to the South Loop. Dope location, had a dope launch, and um yeah, for whatever reason they had to go ahead and dismantle. So, but I still represent with my with my merch. So, but yeah, walk into the spit eye, and uh, as I get closer, we'll get back into, get back in tune. All right. Yeah, I know what it is. The spit eye. The spit eye. Boss man. How you doing? You good? Absolutely. You know, I'm just happy to be in the presence of greatness. That's all. <laughs> we in, we in. What's going on, love? How you doing? Yes, that's you know what I'm here for. You know what I'm here for. Come on now. <laughs> the merch as you can see some dope stuff specific to them and of course you know they have things like Nike accounts and stuff but they have their own merch as well which I love excuse me sweetie yeah um, just kind of looking to see what what color schemes we got and I might want to might want to pick up and grab, you know what I mean? 
it's written. It's kind of like, a, what is this, a gold? Yeah. Mm. Got hoodies as well. Basic tees like these. You don't have to go too crazy with designs like this. You can do, you can do something basic like this, white and black. <laughs> um, and I was trying to see if they had the. Uh, yeah, I won't believe it, but I still have not picked these up. I still need these. In due time. But some of the other things, so you know, I don't really know. Um, no, I don't know. Uh, hey, hey, what's up? <laughs> I don't always make it a point to. Show y'all some of the other things. Yeah, so, yeah. Stuff yeah. everywhere in here, man. Stuff everywhere. Um, I got joints to match the yellow ochre. Got joints to um, match the olive. They got the new. Um, Air Max Plus design, I forgot what they call these, but the colorways on these been crazy. I know it's a couple people that picked these up. So, they're looking nice, nice and sturdy. I'm still a classic uh, Air Max Plus person though. Yeah, I know how it go. Air Max is out the wazoo, you know what I mean? For my Air Max One heads out there. I believe they will have the, um, the Jackie Robinson Air Max One, so yeah. I, I might, I might have to go ahead and grab, might have to grab. I don't know why they ended up putting this leather on these, I hate that. But I got the ones from um, 2017. What up, what up, you got them? Cool, cool. I was just, you know, venturing around a little bit, front of Don. Front of Don. What it do? <laughs> I was what it do, what we do? Come on, we don't play, we don't play about it. All right, I'm about to come up. You ready for me? Yeah, ready. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. Yeah, man. They got they got the foams for y'all that want to grab those. Of course, I got these from the last drop. Oh, what I was saying was I got these from the last drop, the metallic reds from the 2017 with the suede. So happy to have those already. Got these already. So we pretty much set over here. Yeah, I know I got these with the gum bottom. The navies, here they go. Yeah, I was looking forward to these for sure. I'm glad y'all got them. Did they? So are they, they in May? Just pushed it back. Just in general? Oh my God, okay. So yeah, these got pushed back. Oh wow. Last time they did that though, they didn't even release the shoes. They're super clean though. Hopefully they'll release. So what, what happens when you never get like a release date, like you just gotta hold on Sometimes to them or? you either gotta send it back. Oh, okay. Do you remember that Air Max one that came out like kind of before the pandemic? Mm -hmm. It had like stars, like circular stars on the back and yeah. they recalled it because it was like a confederate kind of flag. Yes, I remember so I had those. to send all those back to it. Oh, okay. No, that makes sense so though, I guess. happened before as well. I don't know about like, like these. The problem is gonna change. Oh, no. Day. They can't cancel these. Uh, we're the only ones is that? Really? Oh, nice. Our okay. Because I sure. What we're his only like account in the city that's gonna. Happen. Right. Okay. No, that's what's so, up. Like, no leader. No saying outplay. You know the, the day when this, the date comes out, they're gonna go crazy. Like, yeah. You don't have to so, be a raffle, right? Yeah, you don't have to do something something different. Because <laughs> people are looking forward to this. I couldn't tell if this was a. Oh, this is thread. Okay. I thought that was like velvet at first. That's what. She, it is. Huh. Okay. Just trying to check out the, the materials on it. It's really nice. But yeah, this thing is as clean as the picture said, y'all. Got the 42 and the swoosh on the lace lot. Got the 42 uh, with the diamond, baseball diamond. Yeah, these these okay. joints crazy. The eyelids, come on now. I know you're going crazy, but yeah, that day got pushed back apparently. So 
we'll see. Hopefully we get a date. Oh, and they still they still keep the rat, the rat shoes for y'all. For the easy fans out here. They got the flip flops as well. The flip flops, is that what they call it? I don't even know if this is what if that's what they call these slides, easy slides. More and more Air Maxes, more and more Air Maxes. KD4 fans out there. They get they still got pairs of Galaxy 4s. They still got some um Chinese New Year joints, Year of the Dragon 2.0 joints. So you no know, for me, I mean Katie shoes just be looking too long for me. Looking too long for me. I do have the um Katie Elevens though. The Black History Month. And he does have silhouettes that are cool. It's just you know, I can't really can't rock. Can't rock. Some other KDs here. Yes, they got got the Jaws. Yeah, I know I'm a Jaw fan. Really wish he was not injured. I don't even think I showed y'all this side, but a bunch of Air Jordan ones over here as well. So, still got the lows. Still got the lows, man. Come and get your lows. White and reds. Black toe. We got dunks. They got more than this too, but just for the ones that uh for the dunk heads. They got the Miami joints out here. I know I had to show these early in the year in terms of stuff if I was looking forward to or colorways I thought was cool. So right, Royals, we finished on up. But yeah, I wanted to make sure I showed y'all um you know, a little bit around the store because I hadn't showed anything around the store it feel like for a while. Um, it's been a couple years since I've done, I've done like two different features for that store. So if y'all want to backtrack and kind of get like a deep dive into success, I call it the spit out. I call any place I frequent the spit out. So that's my sneaker spot. That's the spit out for me. If I got a restaurant, that's the spit out. That's what I'll call it. So, but yeah. They got everything. They got everything. So when y'all in town, y'all make sure hit them up. That's the family. You know. Um, and of course, secure the bag. Secure the bag. Um, we don't got the uh, the logo bag today, but you know, it, a bag indeed. A bag indeed. An inconspicuous bag. <laughs> All right. Let me um. Let me finish up looking like a weirdo out in public and um, get to the car and we can, we can talk about it. <laughs> all right, all right. So it's actually a pretty decent day. I make it look colder than what it is. But it's supposed to be, it's supposed to end up being like 47 degrees today. Um, I was gonna confirm on my phone, but way too many frivolous notifications here that I don't feel like messing with so as I said we got the bag we got the pickup this was a part of a part of the uh the plan for the day let me take a squig <laughs> all right so people what I got y'all um so I told y'all this pair right here would probably make the channel and I've showed y'all the silhouette multiple times so y'all should at this point know the box I'm assuming y'all would know the box by now okay oh shit here we go D book havens uh, that thing is fire I've been waiting for a colorway of the D books that um, would make me want to purchase them first and foremost because I like the silhouette. I like the idea I like that. They're not overly Basketball, you know what I'm saying? They don't have that performance look a lot of these shoes have today In fact, this does not look like a good shoe to wear to play basketball at all like at all. You know what I'm saying? So um, This looks like a straight-out um, Casual shoe or lifestyle shoe rather to me Okay, so got those. 
Um, I did grab a couple other things. I'm trying to maneuver here. So, like I said, they have other merch and stuff there. So I just went ahead and grabbed a shirt. This is a part of what I got. A shirt, obviously, this is not to match the shoe, obviously. But just another shirt that's specific to their um, merch line. Looks like an old school car. Um, and it says Body Shop Chicago Pull Up with the Success logo on it. Boom, boom. Um, and a Chinaman is staring at me. Look at him stare with his dog. Yeah, he thought it was sweet. He thought it was sweet. <laughs> See, that's all you got to do. All you got to do when you got a person that's being nosy at what you got going on. You just got to you just got to give them some air time. <laughs> Um, so that's the shirt, and then I did grab a couple pairs of socks. So they got a new wave of socks. I bought the whole batch from the last wave, so I'm just kind of catching up with this new wave. Um, so it's like a navy. Oops, they got the what looks like a navy blue and um, kind of light blue or baby blue on the logo, and then it's a gray foundation, navy blue toe, navy blue heel, right. Then I went with one of the basic ones with that white and black, right? Something that I can wear more regularly. Then they got the blend on the heel and the toe. And then lastly, I grabbed kind of a similar basic one that I can wear more often. So they got the blend on the Success with the white black. It's kind of a grayish look, right? A black foundation, blend toe, blend heel, okay? And so that's that's the setup baby that's what I got all right so next up I did not um I could not figure out what I wanted to have to eat so I have earned myself a treat this weekend um, as I have been cutting for the last 10 weeks um, not a long time but kind of halfway through the first phase of my cut so um and it has involved very few I, I do quite low carbs when I cut just because I'm uh, my body type is carb intolerant right so um definitely sugar is my kryptonite so the treat would obviously be something that is my kryptonite food I don't really prioritize as much in terms of like where I feel like I need to break my diet because I need to have a burger or pizza or whatever. Like I don't, food does not draw me in like that. It's always sugar, dessert, cookie, pie, cake, ice cream, whatever. Like that's the stuff that's tempting to me. Um, so I think just because I'm not sure exactly what I want, I think the safest thing to do so that I can still do this is to get donuts. It's still, morning i have no clue where my phone is at it's in here somewhere mm. Mm. but when i find it actually let me just turn the car on that way i know I idiotic just idiotic mm. not with my phone at for real oh there you go um so yeah it's 11 11 34 well it's 11 34 so it's still mostly morning it's about to turn into early afternoon so i think donuts is still a good thing to have i don't want to go too crazy i could have said get some cookies later but cookies for me doesn't mean like one or two cookies cookies mean a whole row of cookies and that's what i'm talking about like that's that's why i even really have to cut at any point throughout the year because i just i, I go overboard i just that's what i do but anyway let me decide on exactly what location I'm gonna end up at to, to proceed. Um, I would say worst case, it might be like a blueberry muffin or something, I don't know. But, all right, let me, let me make a move. All right. Okay, Royals, so I made a choice. Um, I'm over here in the South Loop. They actually, they opened a, um, a Cineholic. I don't know if y'all have a Cineholic in y'all's neighborhoods, wherever you are. 
um but they just put a new one in the south loop in chicago very first time i had one um was in dallas texas so yeah i didn't even know that they were like spreading the love across the country until more recently they have one on the north side and then um south loop one just opened let me show y'all what i got though i was gonna just get like a little blueberry muffin from the store across here so they don't have a there's like no logo or nothing on the bag so don't worry about it but yeah man we got first one is the um is there a name on this no clue but one of them is called the south loop yeah you can get a little you could obviously their socials here so y'all want to search them go ahead <laughs> um I think this one is the Grand Slam. Yep, this one is the Grand Slam. Boom, boom. Got pecans, uh, cookie dough, as you can see, caramel, and some other stuff. I'm going to close that up because these is actually a little warm. So I want to keep these warm. I don't live far away. So, and then this other one is, I want to say this one is the South Loop. As you can see, it's chocolate down chocolate chips wafers fudge and the likes so very decorated um so i'm going i'm going all in of course as you can tell it's been 10 weeks since i had anything but um obviously i could have went lighter but we're making it worth it because it's gonna be we're making it worth it because it's gonna be a while before i have another treat similar to this so but anyway, man, listen, I got my pickups. I got my um, loose, my dessert. <laughs> Basically, I was gonna say breakfast, but uh, definitely is dessert, more um, early dessert. Um, <laughs> and um, got a couple other errands that I need to make, you know, just get some household stuff. So nothing too crazy with that. But anyway, videos coming soon. Obviously, gotta, you know, dig deeper into a couple of pickups that I have. The pickup I showed y'all just now. And um, yeah, we're gonna keep this thing rolling. Y'all make sure, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Um, and until next time, we out of here. Peace, peace, royalty, all of that. Mm, mm. All right, until next time, y'all. Peace.